Hello everyone. I am Shireen from Nico Nail. Today we are going to do the design that you see on the thumbnail. Let's start with nail prep. I had already finished the extensions yesterday. Something came up during the appointment, and she had to leave. After applying a layer of top coat, she went on her way. That is why I am removing the top coat today. Picking up where we left off. Now let's do the actual nail prep. I always do the cuticle work after applying the extensions. So that I won't damage the cuticle when filing the extensions. I am using a pointed tip drill bits here to separate the cuticle from the nails. I use a variety of techniques to remove the dead skin on the cuticle. Because it is done on dry skin. Many people refer to it as an e-file or a Russian manicure. There are many different techniques and steps. Some people don't even use nail nippers, only drill bits. Anyway, do what works for you. There is no right and wrong. As long as the dead skin is removed and the cuticle is pushed back. A side note. Do you know that it is illegal to cut living tissue off as a nail technician in Illinois? They can only use bit to exfoliate dead skin rather than clipping it off. Make sure to brush off all the dead skin and dust when you are finished. Any dust will cause the gel to be uneven. And likely to cause lifting issues. Here I am using cotton pads sprayed with 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean the cuticle. If the client has sensitive skin, you can use distilled water as a substitute. I will post a detailed video guide on how I do the cuticle work soon. For the base coat, I use the Builder Base Gel from TopClue. The product link is in the description below. When applying the base coat, it's important to apply a thick layer, as it acts as a bond between the nails and everything on top. Make sure to take your time to apply an even layer, and cover the entire surface of the nail. This step is important for ensuring a long-lasting nails. As you can see here, I am carefully applying the base coat around the edges, because any uneven or exposed spots can cause problems with lifting. When I finish, I will brush the entire nail once more to smooth out any uneven spots. I always half cure the nails for 10 to 15 seconds before moving to the next finger. This is to set the gel in place and prevent it from flowing onto the cuticle. I believe every nail tech should have a handheld UV light. It will make your life so much easier. Especially when you are applying builder gel overlay. But a full cure in the UV lamp is still needed of course. I will apply two layers of black gel polish for the base color. If your polish has a thick consistency, you may only apply one layer. But two to three layers are recommended for a smooth and even result. I am applying a thin layer. Because black gel polish is more difficult to cure properly. Especially on the side of the thumbnails. Where the UV ray might not reach due to how you position your hand under the lamp. So make sure to cure around the cuticle with a handheld UV light after a full cure. It is already looking pretty good. I will apply a thin second layer to ensure there are no uneven spots. Make sure to take your time around the cuticle. Proper nail prep to remove all the dead skin. And apply the gel as close to the cuticle as possible. Plus a strong base coat to bond it together. And top coat to seal it off. Equals long lasting nails. You see how it all comes together now? Anyway let's move on to cat eye gel polish. I'm using a purplish blue cat eye for this design. A single layer is enough. As we only need it to create the cat eye french tip. Make sure to apply the gel polish evenly. I am using a flat magnet to bring up all the magnetized particles in the gel polish. On both left and right side. Here I am trying out a round magnet. But it is too strong. All of the cat eye glitter has disappeared. So back to the flat magnet. Try it with your own magnet. As long as it is not cured. You can keep playing with it. All the cat eye is now on the bottom half of the nail. I will now hold the magnet up and toward myself. Pushing the cat's eye to the side. Creating the French tip effect. Then I will make some adjustments to bring out as much glitter as possible. Once I am satisfied with how the cat's eyes look, I will cure it with UV light to lock it in place. 10 to 15 seconds cure. And a full 60 seconds cure in the UV lamp once I am done with all 5 fingers. Let's watch it again. Apply a thin layer. Bring up all the cat's eyes glitter with the magnet. Then push all the glitter toward the bottom half of the nail. And push it to both sides creating the U-shaped French tip. Bring out all the glitter again for the final touch. Always compare it with the last finger and try to match it. Since there are magnets with different strengths and the angles at which you use them. Causing it to be slightly different. But then again you can always make adjustments before curing the nails. See how I am taking my time to check the details. Making sure the size and the placement of the French tip are the same on every single finger.
Anyway I think you all need this handheld UV light. One of my must have item when doing nails. The product link is in the description below. It looks so beautiful already. Now, onto the Builder Gel Overlay. I am using the Leveling Care Hard Gel from Top Glue. The gel is quite runny, so you need to apply it quickly. If you are used to thicker Builder Gel, you can try Fives Extensions Gel by Top Glue. Here I am brushing on a layer with a flat brush to make it easier to move the gel around in the next step. Then I will pick up some gel with a pointy tip gel liner and start structuring the nail. I apply the gel gradually, in small amounts, on top and bottom side of the nail. Next, move the gel around to smooth it out. Since I have already applied a layer of Builder Gel Overlay after the extension, to prevent it from breaking after she left, so we won't need much gel on top this time. Some people prefer to apply the Builder Gel Overlay after putting on extensions, or use the Builder Gel Base Coat, but again there is no right and wrong, both way works. The concept remain the same, it depends on your preferences. Here I am doing some final touches making sure there are no uneven spots. Before flipping the hand over, allow the gel to flow into the middle part, creating the apex. Let the gel sit for five to 10 seconds, depending on the consistency of the builder gel. Move the finger around and check the reflection from the lamp. Use this as a guide to check if any areas require more or less gel. Once you are finished, quickly cure it with UV light to prevent it from flowing to both sides, making the nail look wide. Let's go through it again. Use a flat brush to apply a thin layer on the entire nail. Make sure to take your time around the edge. You can also do builder gel overlay with only a flat brush. Applying a large amount of gel and moving it around with only the flat brush. Kind of like doing acrylic extensions. But today I am showing you all a more newbie friendly way to do builder gel overlay. Applying a small amount of gel gradually makes it easier to work with. If you apply too much gel at once, it will become runny and difficult to handle so I suggest adding the gel little by little. Add more if you need, and remove some if it gets too bulky. Once you become familiar with the texture of your builder gel, you will start to pick up speed and be more efficient. It usually takes me only 30 minutes to apply a builder gel overlay on both hands. I will post a detailed video guide on how to do builder gel overlay if this video gets 10,000 like. Covering subjects such as how to apply builder gel overlay on natural nails. How to use nail pinching tweezers to fix fan-shaped nails. And how to apply builder gel overlay on different types of nail extensions. So please like and subscribe, your support is greatly appreciated. The gel will generate a lot of heat during the curing process, causing the client to feel pain. You can cure it for 5 seconds, then let it rest for another 5 seconds to cool down, before curing it again. For the chrome design, I am using the crystal top coat by Top Glue. Feel free to use any non-wipe top coat of your choice. And again only apply a thin layer. As you can see here the gel is already building up around the cuticle. Each layer you apply will gradually build up, making the nails appear thick at the end. Once you are done, cure the nail with UV light for 30 seconds. The curing time will vary depending on the top coat. Some top coats require only 20 seconds, while others may need 40 seconds or longer. Remember to move the UV light around to ensure that the entire nail is evenly cured. Make sure to cover the UV ray with your other hand to prevent it from curing any gel on your table. Today, I will be using this gold chrome powder. I think silver chrome might look better on this design, but the client prefers the gold chrome. I am using an eyeshadow applicator to apply the chrome. On a full chrome design, I will just use my finger, or a pen with a silicon tip. But make sure your finger is free of any oil and dust though. Don't forget to buff it into the corners and tips of your nails. See how I am squeezing both sides of the finger? Applying some pressure so that the eyeshadow applicator can reach the edge. Then I will slowly working toward the middle part of the nail, creating the ombre design. If you are unhappy with the result or make a mistake, just wipe the chrome off with a cotton pad sprayed with isopropyl alcohol, and reapply the chrome again. The idea of this design is to incorporate both cat's eye and chrome designs together. The ombre chrome on top, the black in the middle, and the French tip cat's eye on the bottom. You can try a light base color with silver cat's eye polish and silver chrome. I think it will create a completely different look. Finally, I will apply another layer of top coat to seal off everything. Please ensure to apply the top coat over the chrome design to seal everything off. As the chrome, aurora or any sort of powder is prone to have lifting issues. Here is a small tip when applying the top coat. Brushing the gel repeatedly from top to bottom to create a smooth and even layer. 
removing any brush marks that may cause the final coat to appear bumpy. A final curing before we are done. Make sure to fully cure it under a UV lamp when you are finished with all five fingers. Here are the final result. I rate it a 7 out of 10. But overall, it is very stunning. The design elements all blend together nicely. I would like to try a lighter color combination next time. If you have any questions or a design that you'd like me to create, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video.